Okay, it's me. Uh, I'm wearing my hat. Uh, my wife says it's old and ratty, but it, it makes me feel comfortable. So, and I have two cameras, so forgive me what, what I'm looking at. So today we're gonna look at face masks in the infrared. So this is a, uh, a cloth face face mask. I mean, the, the disposable one. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on and then we'll talk about it. So let me put this one on. Okay, now I'm gonna look at the infrared and watch. I'm just kind of breathing normal right now and talking. Okay, so this is an infrared camera. It detects the infrared portion of the of the spectrum of light. And so you can see things that are associated with temperature. And in fact, the different colors here are different apparent temperatures, although it can be sometimes misleading. So you'll notice when I breathe in, it gets darker. That's because the mask gets cooler. When I breathe out, isn't that pretty cool? So when I breathe out, my body is warmer than the surroundings, even though it's quite humid out here right now. Um, and, and so that, that shows up but it also has a lot of water. And then when I breathe back in, that water evaporates and the evaporating water cools off the mask. And there you go, that's why it changes colors. Now, you can't see through the mask. I'm gonna hold up the, the cloth to the camera. So you can't see through it, okay? But you can sort of see through it and you actually see the part where it's still wet. Now, if I put my hand up next to it, you might be able to see my hand through it just because my hand makes different parts of it warm no, not really. I'd have to push hard. Okay, so you can't see through this, um, just like you can't see through my glasses. Okay, see, I actually do have eyes. Uh, and this is a great time to point out, this is a great place to take uh, surface body temperatures with the infrared camera because different parts of your skin get wet and they, they get different colors. This is a good uh, measurement of your internal body temperature glasses back on. Okay, let's look at a different mask and let's just see what happens. This is a cloth mask that you, you might want to wash and redo. Let me put this on. Now you'll notice here this looks quite a bit different in the infrared. You can see my mouth right there. Actually, I can almost see because in this case it doesn't distribute the breath as much. It just kind of goes right through that one spot. Now, what you would not want to see is it coming out on the side over here, but I don't think it really is, even though this one's pretty loose. Okay, so if I <coughs> cough, <coughs> see, it's gonna, it's gonna catch most of those things. Um, you'll notice my hat's kind of wet because it's hot out here. But I'm cool with that if you're cool with that. Okay, let's look at another mask. That's pretty cool, huh? Okay. This, by the way, I'm using the, uh, the, FLIR, uh, the FLIR One Pro. It's a camera that attaches to my iPhone and I actually have two iPhones here. I stole my son's iPhone, so I can use the visible part too. Okay, this is a scarf. So a lot of people use stuff like this um, as their face covering. So let me just put this like that. This one's not very long. This is actually, um, I think it's cashmere. So now it's gonna breathe. You can really see it, it the, the breath stays right around here. My nose really shows up. That's pretty cool. Okay, I don't know why I like looking at that. Okay, so that's that. Um, let's look at one more mask. Okay, so this is an N95. This is actually an old one that I had for painting. Um, and I keep looking at the wrong camera, so I'm, I'm sorry about that. Uh, so I don't know if it's really good for protection, but the N95 uh, actually filters out particles. Um, it's good for paint and things like that, where as I learned from Minute Physics, link below, uh, the 95, N95 means it filters out 95% of the particles. Okay, and it does use a special trick that's kind of cool, but. We could talk about that later. Let me see if I can get this over my head. Now, the important thing with the N95 is you definitely want it to fit properly. You don't want air coming out the side or coming in the side. You want it to go through the filter. Okay, and this one actually fits pretty well. It needs to be tight. Let 
feel like Darth Vader when I look at it. And what if I just talk normally? Then you can see when I breathe in and breathe out, you get different cool effects. I really like this one. Breathe in through my nose, out through my nose. Now I'm gonna breathe in through my mouth. Out through my mouth. Okay, so that's it. So, you know, the infrared camera can't see through. It can't see through this stuff. Um, it can see through some things. Uh, and it can get an image of what's below you if that part is wet. Okay, so uh, like you saw with my face, let me, let me take this off. And I'm just going to hold this up to my face. I can even hold it to my glasses, I bet. And, you know, I don't even know if I'm what it's seeing now because I can't see. Um, but you can see through things if it heats it up to a certain temperature and you can see the temperature difference. Uh, there are some materials that infrared light does go through. One, I didn't bring one out here, is a plastic grocery bag. Uh, so that's kind of cool to see. But, so there you go. Face masks and infrared. Yes, we should wear face masks. Talk to you guys later.